Alright guys, today we're going to do a very special review in my action figure collection. Today we're going to review The Dark Knight Returns Batman! Alright, here we have the Dark Knight Returns Batman from the Batman Unlimited line. Man, I must be one of the last people to get this. Pre-ordered on B BTS, BigBadToyStore.com and I just gave up. <laughs> Electric Detonator got one or has one now. Uh, oh, brother, what's his name? Uh, another favorite YouTuber I like to watch. Forgive me if I pronounce your name wrong. ODC, that's me. He just reviewed it. Um, another YouTube person I watch, John Harmon. He did, he's one of the first people that reviewed this. And then my buddy also, Spud's Family Jewel, also reviewed this guy. And so I waited and I waited and I waited for BBTS. And I just gave up. I was like, I'm just going to have to get this. Or do the eBay. And the guy that sent me a tracking number, and I was getting pretty nervous. He's, it was only one state over, and I finally got it today. Thank goodness. Yeah, so I'm happy to finally get this guy. Can't wait to open them up. And you're probably getting tired of watching him rotate. So let's get him one more rotated over. Hurry up. So look at that. We have... Batman. He obviously we all know that he shares the same buck as the Masters of the Universe. Body comes with one the Batarang. I love the bat. I I I would somebody graffiti designs. Please make that Batman shirt, cause that is cool. Simple as that. Cool. Really, at first I didn't like its utility belt because it's just all no buckle there. I'm not too sure how he puts his belt on, but it's cool. I, I agree with me, especially after watching the uh, cartoon part one and part two. I'll see you in cartoon. Cage nice, boots nice. The Dark Knight Returns, Batman. Nice artwork from the comic. I'll see you. I remember reading that as a kid. Oh my gosh, that just blew my mind. Frank Miller, man. He's awesome. The back of the card. Batman. More of a blue type outfit there, but which is cool. It would be a nice variant if they came out with a blue, different logo Batman. Kind of a whitish, grayish utility belt. That would be cool. Variant. Carrie Kelly, on the way to get her is through DC Direct. You have to watch Electric Detonator's review. He has her and he does a size comparison with this Batman. So link down below to, if you want to watch that one. Uh, let's see. Do I want to read all this? Mm, that's a big bio. It's been ten years since the mysterious Batman uh, last cast a shadow in the crime-riddled Gotham City. An aging Bruce Wayne has hung up his cape and crime-fighting career due to the passing of Robin Jason Todd. In Gotham City, the Cold War still rages on, and most masked heroes have been forced into hiding or retirement as a result of a, sus as a, result of a suspicious and unforgiving public. But with the ruthless street gang causing chaos in the streets, and several of his nemesis returning to prominence. Wade has no choice to suit up as the Dark Knight once again. No, 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 no. I did skip two words because I didn't know what that word. Dystopian cityscape. <laughs> Real name Bruce Wayne. Occupation CEO crime fighter. Location own Gotham City, powers, abilities, and skills, martial arts expert, 
master detective, vast arsenal of weapons and gadgets, and being really tall and fat at the same time. Alright, so we have, in this wave, we got shiny ass Batman. And then we have Planet, oh, we can't even see that, can you? It doesn't show up very well. Then you have Planet X Batman, which I will pass. Cool figure, not for me though, which Olivia has done a great review of, of him. He comes with Batmite and a bat. An actual bat. Like a baseball bat. Alright, we'll be right back. We're gonna open him up. Alright, if you look on the inside card here, I think it's funny that they take the time and print more stuff out, which makes it cost more for us as collectors to buy these. But it says, Look! For more characters at medicollectors.com. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, it's just a look for most sold out characters that you can't buy at medicollector.com. <laughs> right, we're back. So, here is Batman out of the package. Very nice. Very nice. I'm not too sh It's amazing the accessories he's come with. He comes with the battering, and he comes with his horse. It's amazing how they fit that horse in there. I'm not too sure how they did that. The battering, let's see, zoom down on it. It's kind of bent from the package. Just like the comic book. Whoa, camera's moving by itself. Freaky! Just like the uh, comic book. Where'd it go? I don't know if you can see it. Uh, Batman gets his batterings from China. So he must buy them by the dozen or bulk or something. So cool. We'll get a picture of him in it in a second. Yeah, pretty awesome figure here. All right, let's. I love his face. I mean, I'm not a fan of open mouth or showing teeth, but. It works for this guy. I'm so happy I got him. I almost didn't get him. Electric detonator. You know, we almost talk, we talk about it every day, and he's like, "Dude, gotta get him." And saw his review. Go ahead and got him. And like I, I explained the whole story, but pretty cool. Thank you, sir, electric detonator, for talking me into getting this guy. I'll see him. Look at his face. Only a face a mother could love. Look at that. And let me zoom down. His, his belt's are really nice. His um, black underwear. It's kind of weird. Of course, we all know this is shared from a Master of the Universe body. And the shoes, not shoes. It's so cool. Cape is really nice. Cape flows back here. It's not a, too thick of a cape. It's this adjustable. So, it's amazing how they got that horse to fit in that small DC Batman Unlimited package. Now nah, I'm just kidding. I got this idea from, uh, you can watch his review of the guy, John Harmon. Go to his thing. Awesome customizer. Watch his review. But, uh, this is where I got the idea for the horse at. On his review. So, I asked him too. I said, you don't mind me getting the... Showing Batman on the horse, too. He goes, nope, that's why I put it in the video. So other people can do it. So pretty cool. Bart Martin, can we go back to the cave? I'm so tired. You used to have a car. Bat logo is awesome. No problems there. Just perfect, perfect, perfect. But... A lot of paint slop on his arm right there. A lot of black. It's okay. It's livable. And um, Mrs. Chapman in the films just looked at him and said, Oh, that is one ugly belt color. <laughs> Mrs. Chapman films works at a paint store. She's a color expert and all that. So I thought that was pretty funny. Boots are nice. 
Nice black boots. Has some wrinkles right there. It's pretty cool. Nice, nice, nice. Of course, his back is nice. Nice cape. Like I said, very thin. Very thin cape. You want to? You can kind of see underneath. No paint problems under there. So it's cool. See, they put the trademark stamp back here underneath his cape, unlike Wonder Woman. Well, she'll have a cape, but it's all over her back right there. So that was smart. They hide in it so it doesn't make the figure ugly. Right, here is Batman holding his China Batarang. So it's cool. And um, that's the only accessories he comes with. So that's pretty neat. Alright, here's a new feature that I'm showing you guys on the reviews. Um, I call this segment Looking Out the Window. Here is Batman looking out the window. Alright, let's go over his articulation. His articulation. His head can move a 360. Let's get some more light. Yeah, his head can move a 360, but I don't want to kill him. It goes left and right. Kind of goes up a little bit. Barely goes down a little bit. Um, his ab crunch, it's not too loose, but it's not tight either, but um, it could be loose if I kept on messing with it, I think. And then he has a glove, well his arms do go out, um, elbow articulation, wrist swivel, no glove swivel, but he does have a wrist swivel, be cool if he had a glove swivel. Um, legs do go out, knee, and ankle articulation, and a little, little bit of ankle rockers there, so not too bad. Right, here is he, man, that, what a cool two-pack, if that was a real two-pack right there, that would be cool, but obviously the arms are the same. The legs look the same, but the chest piece is not the same, and obviously his underwear is not the same as he man. So, pretty cool. Very glad that they did this. Would I like to see this in all DC Universe people? Probably not. I would like to see a Superman, you know, like this. They could do that with Superman easy. But probably I don't want to see like a Robin or a Flash that big. That would be crazy. Ooh, this Batman needs to go on a diet. Before, after. No, I'm just kidding. So, Batman looks good with Batman. Um, you know, he's just younger. Older. So, it can happen. Alright, so how would I rate this figure? Good job, Mattel. Needs improvement, Mattel. Or Dog of a Man. Um, definitely not dog vomit. Definitely not needs a permit, but for sure, good job, Mattel. They did excellent, excellent work on this guy. And, you know, looking at the Dark Knight Returns comic, who, you know, just, it's almost like I'm dreaming. It's almost like, did I really finally have a figure like this? I mean, who would imagine this is so out of the norm? I mean, they were thinking out of the box when they made this figure. I mean, they did a really good job. And I hope he's not that hard to get for other people. But um, definitely a good job. And how do they fit that horse in that little DC box? You know, he was right behind the little Manny card. It's amazing. It's just absolutely amazing. But I definitely would go get this guy. And I do recommend him. It's just craziness craziness and the smell factor on this guy he smells like a brand new toy he just smells good so I'll see ya look at that face look at that face I mean I'll see him alright I got some other figures in the day uh, expect a review on this guy here next I'm actually showing what I'm gonna do next elongated man I was working on a Solomon Grande, so you'll see him. And, uh, got Dr. Manhattan in, but he's over there, across the room. So.